already set liftoff. An engineering marvel is taking place right now at the California Science Center in Exposition Park. Crews there are trying to raise the retired space shuttle Endeavor upright. KCAL News reporter Leslie Marine is there live tonight on the ground with a very close up look for us. And Leslie, this is one daunting task. It is one daunting task that is moving a lot quicker than we thought. I want to get right to the action behind me. Chauncey and Susie, take a look at that. The Endeavor almost fully upright here. It's been moving for about 30 minutes. And here's the thing. Well, it's moving fast. It's moving very, very carefully. And it does have a long way to go. This space shuttle weighs about 172,000 pounds. And it will be lifted by a crane that's about 450 feet in the sky. It has to go over this wall and then placed very meticulously right next to that fuel tank and those two rocket boosters. So a long way to go here. Very exciting. We spoke to some of the brains behind this mission. This feels surreal. Excitement is in the air as the Endeavour Space Shuttle will move one last time to its permanent home the new Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center. It's been so long. I've been waiting 34 years for this moment. Kenneth Phillips is a curator of aerospace science at the California Science Center and one of the brains behind the first of its kind project. The Endeavor will be lifted by a 450 foot crane and attached to its fuel tank and two rocket boosters to become the only shuttle on display in the world to look as if it's ready for liftoff. But doing so won't be easy. Wind is a major problem and you don't want the the space shuttle swinging on the end of a cable. Um, so that's the first concern. And then we've got to get into a very tight space. Um, there's not a lot of room around it. And then when we actually bring it in to attach to the external tank, it's all the, all the materials are really fragile and we don't want to damage the space shuttle. A lot on the line to make sure the history of the Endeavour remains intact. The Endeavour first blasted into orbit in 1992, completing 25 missions, which included preparing the Hubble telescope and adding a U.S. component to the International Space Station before its final flight in 2012. But this time, the Endeavour was flown on top of a Boeing 747 to L.A. It took three days to inch its way through Los Angeles to end up at the Science Center, where it's been the last decade, but now ready for one last challenge. I'm really excited, I'm very proud of what we accomplished and a little nervous. My hope is that people will come to the California Science Center, Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center and recognize that this stuff, as complicated as it is, is not beyond them. Okay, back out here live. We are standing right next to Jeff Rudolph. You are the CEO here at the California Science Center. Jeff, I just want to ask, how are things looking and how much more do we have to go? It looks really good. Uh, as you might see, we started a little early. And the crew saw that the winds were low and said, let's go for it. It's, while we're in good conditions, uh, Endeavor is now vertical. And the next steps will be to detach the crane on the back and then we'll go ahead with the lift over the building and in and put it in position. So as of now, everything's looking really good. How are you feeling? This is 30 years in the making for you. I, I feel great. Um, I will admit still a little nervous, but so far everything's going really well. And, and what a beautiful sight. It's yeah, just it really is a beautiful sight. Jeff, thank you so much. We have the best seat in the house. As you see, Endeavor right behind us getting fully upright. Long way to go, possibly overnight. Um, so this just incredible piece of history that we get to witness, Susie and Chauncey. So very neat. Yeah. Leslie, thank you so much.